What's up, everybody? Good morning. Here's kind of stuff, but it's all good. Try to comb it, but then I always flick through it. So we're gonna unstrap this load right here. We're in massive uh, New York. A little picture of where I'm at. Y'all recognize that area? Right under this big bridge. I have no trouble getting here. I see. I just remember a lot of things, so. It's work. <laughs> Release these straps. Wanna get in there? I have to do everything. Oh, it's like pretty hour.
outside. Roll up my straps. Just uh, want to talk about what we can talk about. Just talk about uh, our health. Always, always time to talk about your health. So, if I do flatbed work, my arms are constantly moving around. I'm walking around my trailer back and forth. I like doing things nice and neat. So, I have to walk around my trailer a couple times before I get it done right. I need to get one of those step meters to show exactly how many steps I do a day. And we have something to prove. Like a goal. I'm going to try to beat it every day. There was this picture I saw today though. Man, something else. So, see if I can put it up later. Um, it's about your fitness, you know, and someone commented it. Spiritual goodness. This is spiritual goodness to me. Making it happen for myself here at the in this business flat bedding. They were getting commented. They're telling that. Individual. Ah. Should be wearing a hard hat. Let me go get it. Never, never too late. Or say before the accident happens, you know. Um, what, 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 
location is it? What place are you delivering to? Uh, I'll tell you right now, man. It's a uh, Jetro. wake up with my bones refiguring themselves. You know, it didn't sound pretty, it sounded like, you know when you go to chiropractors, you hear like a line of uh, bones popping. That's how my body sounded, even at night. It was, and I was a doctor, I asked him to see if they can be out. What he was that? If you do surgery on you, sir, you're going to look the same. Seriously, don't know how to talk to people that that talk back to me or or try to picture me things that are impossible but not really impossible. You just want to call it laziness. So that's what I called it. I thought they were lazy. I didn't have insurance, you know, and how was she gonna get paid? Well, my dad offered to help me out. Oh, me out. Anyways, she didn't want to help me out. She told me that my clavicle bone will still look the same. Like beauty contest, right? I'm not trying to rip off my shirt. I look like uh, Mr. Universe or something. I'm going to keep my arm. I just wanted to keep my brain. But I didn't leave discouraged. Because I'm not a kind of a discouraged person. I don't get discouraged. I left the plane. Come on, ready, brother? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll come out here and get it, bro. I'll go with Eddie. No. No, no. Just leave. Yes, sir. Maybe he'll grab it with the high low. You don't have to back in. Oh, got it then. Should I take off the straps or not yet? Yeah. Take them off. That's good. <laughs> so, this lady, she thought that I wanted it to look like some movie star, whatever. Anyways, that's not the point. I left her, left her with a uh, different attitude. My body wasn't going to be the same. Because I was hurting. I've never, never heard it like that before. So those who have broken bones, I feel for you. It's not easy, you know, because you live one way. And then if you're not ready for it, it's a big change. It was a big change for me. The pain. I suffered for about a whole year and a half. I kept doing work. I kept doing push-ups. I kept doing, you know, certain workouts. 
sit-ups, just to keep my symmetric, you know, the this point, kind of keep my left and my right muscles aligning. That was my goal. That was my goal, to, just to keep my, my muscles uh, straight. reason why I broke was because I wasn't working out like I was I was playing semi-pro football going against 300 250 pound men I probably weigh like about 160 I still weigh 160 I could never gain weight I could never lose weight but I can I can squat it at one time you know at that time of pressure I can I can squat it but at that time I know I was benching maybe like about 225, you know. But I wasn't doing it regularly like I should have, like I wanted to. I have, I have good speed, I, I don't know about now, but I sometimes tell myself I still got it. And you know what, doing this flat, flat bed work, I still got it. I did my jumping jacks and I stretched a lot. I, I had to stretch a lot. Every morning, every afternoon, and every evening, I was stretching for like about an hour straight. And it was important because either way, before you do a workout, you have to stretch. I was stretching a whole lot. And then, that wasn't working after a while. After a while, the pain started getting worse. So I ended up using devices. I bought a clavicle, clavicle brace. It kind of like, looked like a bra. Um, it was the best thing I got. I strained up my back it under my shirts. I had to wear it to sleep. I mean, it just, I had to write it. It was ever. I can't go in my throat. You can see it. I don't know what it was. It was Definitely some I listen to God. He helped me out.
I'm gonna take off the rest of these straps. All spiritual welfare. Like little Timber say, but they just got Timber Pumba and Timbon. Gonna attack. I keep on. there and drive the truck just so I can do what I want what I'm doing right now I'm in parking you here's where the loads are at this load right here is 800 miles no give or take about a thousand miles but it's paying it was paying $4,500 for 800 miles that's like three dollars per mile I've been coming on I'm breathing this better just taste good. So I get a little bonus from this stuff. I'm not working on my they offer me a bonus. Amen. Amen.
but I always try to make my job easier than what you're saying. I always try to make my job easier.